Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, and welcome to this week's Wednesday Word of Wisdom. Yours truly here, Prophetess Antoinette Jackson, here to share yet another, um, what I pray will be an inspirational message of hope and encouragement, and most importantly, light. Um, this is why, why I feel that God has uh, just commissioned me during this time and over this last season, uh, wherein he has had me sharing with those of you who listen faithfully week after week, um, is to bring um, light, uh, hope, and love unto those who, who need it. And I don't know about you, but, you know, I have to encourage myself a lot. Um, I've had to do that today even um, it's so important to be able to to do that um, in our times of, of uncertainty and disappointment and, and hurt and all those things, uh, because that's just a part of life, right? Uh, we're human. Uh, nobody ever told us that this road, this journey called life would be an easy one. But um, the, the good thing about it and the message of hope is that we have such a loving father that has equipped us with everything that we need everything our our total and complete sufficiency is in him guess what if we lose our jobs tomorrow heaven forbid god is still god he is still sufficient in all things and his word says he'll never leave us nor will he forsake us and so we have to be encouraged in that we have to be encouraged in those scriptures that we've recited for so long even some of those uh simple Bible scriptures um, that we learned in Sunday school growing up. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And as we remember those things and we recall those things, that it gives us a sense of hope, right? Because we've got to know that as long as the Lord is our shepherd, there is nothing that we have to want for. And so when we put those things in perspective, when we find ourselves in difficult situations and, and, um, difficult moments in our lives, then we can draw strength from that. Amen. So thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in yet another um, week uh, for the Wednesday Word of Wisdom. I am always excited um, to sit down and to share with you what God has placed on my heart and what he continues to give me week after week after week. I was sharing with my mom last week that you know, I, I never have any notes. Um, I've not written anything. I really need to get all of this uh, transcribed because it is simply a fresh download from heaven. I mean, I sit, I listen, the Lord will give me scripture. And then as I turn the, the camera on, the Holy Spirit begins to minister through me to each of you and to each of us, right? Because I'm receiving uh, just as it is coming. So literally it is hot off the press. So um, today, uh, no different. Um, I do have some scriptures uh, that have just kind of been bubbling in my spirit. The last um, couple of days I've been singing this song that's just been in my spirit. And the other night it just uh, moved me to tears as I, as I lay there in the bed and was just thinking about the goodness of the Lord and and I just you know the tears just began to run down my face and and the song um was talking about casting all of our cares and the song says for he cares for you and he knows whatever it is you're going through so why don't you the songwriter says so why don't you just cast all your cares upon the Lord. And that is scripture. And, and in fact, today I'm going to share that particular scripture because it has been resonating with me for the last few days. Um, and sometimes my heart becomes, my spirit becomes heavy for others that are going through. But I want you to know, those of you that are listening, I, I don't care how dark and bleak and difficult it may seem at this time. There is a way out. And there is a God who cares about every situation, whatever it is you may be going through, there is a loving father that cares for you. Amen. Um, I was called to reflect this week um, or this weekend um, as a result of the passing of the Reverend uh, Dr. Frederick uh, K. Price. And um, as I heard of, learned and read about his passing uh, due to this um, COVID-19 um, 
mm, the virus. You know, I, I I could all I could do was be reflective because I remember as a teenager, um, listening to and sitting down with my mother, um, who has always been a woman of faith. And um, if you know my mother, you know she is a pastor and 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 just always has been um, just such a um, powerful and mighty woman um, in the things of God. And so she used to, of course, you know, raising her children up you know, in the Lord. And so there were so many things that I was um, exposed to and, and the depth of God, um, which there's still yet so much more to know about God. But there was so much that I was exposed to as a teenager. Um, and and Dr. Price was one of those uh, faith teachers that my mother exposed me to at a very young age. Um, I learned because he was known as the quote unquote faith teacher or faith evangelist. And he always preached and taught about faith. And so as I um, recall this weekend, and as I looked at some of his old YouTube videos where, you know, they had been captured and his teaching and this particular teaching, perhaps this is why this resonated in my spirit. So was about casting your cares. And he talked about not having had a bad day in the last 13 years. And that was an older video, but he said the reason why he had not is because he had truly learned what the word of God said, which was to cast all of his cares. He went on to share about he, how he and his wife had lost their eight-year-old son um, due to being run over by a vehicle. But he talked about even in the most challenging or seemingly challenging situation in their lives, they learned what it was to truly cast all their cares. That just blessed me in a way, although it may seem like a simple message to you, but sometimes we need to be reminded, no matter how things may be seemingly going in our lives, it may seem like it's going good, it may be going terribly bad, but whatever the situation is, we need to remind ourselves that we can cast all A-L-L, -L, all means all-encompassing. Everything, we can cast it on the Lord because the word of the Lord says he cares. Let me just read that scripture out of 1 Peter verses 5, 1 Peter 5 verses 7 through 8. And it says, cast all your anxiety or all your cares on him because he cares for you. Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Listen, let me just stop right there, put a pen right there, because if the enemy is looking for something, he can't find it if, you're, if it's not available to be found. Are you with me on that? So what I am saying is that we cannot make ourselves a, available so that the enemy can seek us out. That means if we have positioned ourselves, if we've postured ourselves, if we've postured our thinking even in a way that nothing matters because I've already casted that, yes, whatever that is, whether it's my spouse, whether it's my children, whether it's my job, whatever this, whether it's my family, if I've already casted that care on the Lord, because the scripture says, because he cares, then I'm not available. You know, when I hear a lot in the dating scenes now, and I like to watch a lot of the, the dating shows and such, although I am happily married, thank God, but I, you know, it is entertainment. In fact, my husband and I watch some of these together, but there's all this, this, there's this term that says, Oh, he's emotionally unavailable or she's emotionally unavailable. Well, let's translate that into today's message. If you are emotionally unavailable for the enemy to access, then guess what? Excuse me. He can't influence you. He can't get to you. And so that is because you have postured yourself and positioned yourself in a way where you have truly casted all your cares on the Lord. 
all of them. And let me just tell you here, by us holding on to them, what can we do with them? Other than worry ourselves to death, make ourselves sick, cause our high, you know, our blood pressure to go higher or our diabetes to get out of control, whatever the case may be. But thanks be to God, I don't have to deal with any of that, but it does influence those things. And we have to understand that if we make ourselves emotionally unavailable to the enemy, then he has no access to us. We literally have to give him access to us, give him access to our mind, give him access to our spirit. We have to even give him access to our will. So if we're going to give somebody access to us, why not give it to God? And so when we cast something, we literally relinquish what power we thought we had. We relinquish that to someone else or to something else. And so that someone else that we should be relinquishing it, relinquishing it to is God. Amen. And then there is a scripture I love. This is my favorite scripture. And this is Romans 8 and 28. And it says, and we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and to those that are called according to his purpose. Now, we always forget what comes after that conjunction and on the, at the second half of that scripture. And we know that all that God causes all things to work together for our good to them that are called and to, to, I'm sorry, those that are called according to his purpose. So if we are called according to his purpose, then that makes all things work together for our good. Now what that scripture does not say is that all things are going to be good, which is why it is so important that we cast everything all of our cares and concerns on the Lord because therein gives us assurance because he has our best interest at heart, right? He wants us to be successful. He wants us to live this abundant life, this life to the full. And so if we cast it, if we cast it all and not try to keep that little piece that we think we still have control over, then we can fully see the manifested God working in our lives. God wants to manifest himself to us, through us, and for us. But we've got to cast our cares on him. And then I love James chapter 1, 2 through 4. I'm going to read this. Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles of any kind come your way, Consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow. For when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. And what I didn't ask you all at the beginning of this teaching, because I got so excited and caught up and engulfed, but the question of the day is, when will you let it go? When will you let it go? And so I want you to ponder that as I wrap up um, this inspirational message for today. When will you let it go? Because that which you're holding on to is causing you nothing but hurt, is causing you pain, is causing you grief, is causing you strife, is causing your body to be sick, is causing your body to be racked with pain. Is all of that that you're holding on to, is it even worth it? Is it worth it? It's the question. So when will you let it go? Let me tell you, when I spoke and I talked about the joy on last week, it's real. It comes from deep down on the inside. And you want to know why? It's because I've learned to cast all of my cares. 
I cannot worry about other folks. I cannot be concerned about what someone else is doing because in doing so, I may miss, as I said to you on last week, we may miss what it is that God has specifically and uniquely for us. So when will you let it go? I don't know. That's up for you and God to decide. But whenever you're ready, all you have to do, according to 1 Peter, is cast all of your cares. Throw them at him. Throw them at him. He won't be offended. Why? Because he already knows. And he never created or designed us to carry loads and weight. That was not purpose for us. Which is why he says that all things work together. His word tells us that, right? To them that are called according to his purpose. And so his purpose, again, is for us to live that rich and abundant life that he has so designed for you and I. So when will you let it go? God bless you. Thank you for listening to this week's Wednesday Word of Wisdom. Again, please, as I encourage you week after week, please hit the like button. Please share it with someone else so that they too can be encouraged. And most importantly, subscribe. Subscribe to this channel. God is doing some amazing things and He's there's so much more that he wants to do in us, through us, and for us. God bless you. I love you. And until next time, continue to stay safe and well. I'm praying for you. Please pray for me. God bless you.